Okay, let's do another video on exact and inexact numbers. Uh, this time we'll do a video on uh, taking mass and determining um, exact and inexact numbers when you're doing something like this, okay? So, um, first thing we'll do is take our weigh boat, okay, and put it on the balance. Um, in fact, if you want to, you can look here says um, 2.03, which is actually an inexact number. Um, that 3 is an approximation. And we'll talk more about that in a second. But anyways, let's tear this. Okay, so it's at 0 now. So, take our copper shot. We're going to just throw a couple in there. A few, I guess. So, Let's see if you guys can see. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there's eight pieces or eight little copper shots in there, and that's an exact number. There is exactly eight of them because I counted them one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to put them on the balance. We're going to see how much they weigh. Okay. So that's the mass of them, 1.25 grams, 1.25 grams, which is an inexact number. In fact, there are uh, two certain digits, the 1 and the 2, and the last digit is always an approximation, and this is what you find with all measuring devices, okay? so. Hopefully you've seen here that there are two types of numbers involved in um, weighing this particular type of substance, right? We can see that there's an exact number. There is exactly eight balls of copper shot that, the, that we're measuring, okay? And then when we put it on there, we have an inexact measurement of 1.25 grams. And Anytime you're using a measuring device, you're always going to have an inexact measurement. Okay, just like uh, in the beaker example that we saw last time. Okay, hopefully this answers uh, those of your questions that had on inexact and exact numbers.